Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm not joking about Yellowstone. I've talked about it for the last three, four years. <clears throat> I talked about it two days ago that I was very concerned because I saw some smaller quakes, 3.1, 2.7, Yellowstone in Montana. Very concerning. I brought that up it's, during a live broadcast. I was concerned. Now, what I didn't know was that then NASA has been flying uh, the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. They've been fl doing flyovers, mysterious flyovers, the Yellowstone area. Matter of fact, Dabu, Dabo7 has done a couple very good videos on this subject. And uh, now we're hearing more information. Then we had the earthquake last night of 4.5, several aftershocks, which I've already discussed in my video earlier this morning. We will be talking about this this afternoon. It is that critical. Now, let me just uh, share with you from the website Strange Sounds. Uh, they are reporting this 4.5 earthquake. Five aftershocks this are, uh, larger than 2.5 have hit Yellowstone today on this June 16th. They're reporting it. While NASA is flying the world's largest airborne observatory over the supervolcano. So we're not playing. We tell you, is this thing waking up? I brought this up two days ago, even before the quake, even before the flyovers, just because I've been watching the, I've been watching earthquakes now every day for over seven years and reporting on this uh, YouTube channel. You guys remember when I did the, the 188 day earthquake cycle where every 188th day we had a major quake that hit exactly on the 188th day, seven times. That was back in 2012 and 13 and so and so on. So uh, look, we know what we're talking about here, that there is something going on up in Yellowstone. Matter of fact, <clears throat> is the Yellowstone volcano awakening? Well, the mysterious flyovers by the SOFIA over to Yellowstone, currently NASA puts... Their Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared uh, Astronomy, they, uh, they, the world's largest, most sensitive airborne observatory every day in the air. And if NASA puts this in the air, it's important, folks. They don't do this every day. And when they do, the bird of prey doesn't go hunting unless there's something to hunt. They're watching something. You can bet on that. And that's the truth. Uh, matter of fact, this is a, uh, it has a 8.2 foot diameter infrared telescope, makes it possible to make scientific observations that are impossible for even the largest and highest of earth-based telescopes to see. Already four days during the sunrise and sunset, NASA has been monitoring the sun, but yesterday they turned their lenses toward Yellowstone National Park. Remember, the massive lake of molten carbon, the size of Mexico. What? That is, are you seriously telling me that's the size of this thing? It is, and it's under Yellowstone. That's why I tell you, if this thing was to erupt, literally erupt, it is cataclysmic for the, our, for the Western Hemisphere. There would be people survive. But it would be post-apocalyptic. And they would be wandering around. This is not... So when you read the Bible, the Bible talks about great earthquakes on the planet. Tremendous famines. Disease, plagues, pestilences of a biblical proportion. Chaos. Confusion. Sorrows, great, great pain. An, a super volcano eruption would cause just that. Death would be on comprehension. So what I'm trying to share with you is if somebody's watching, if you're saved, you have nothing to fear. So we're talking here, wrath of God. If you're not saved, this is the volatility of this world you live in. Very volatile. Very dangerous. Perilous times even, Paul said. 
So we're really going to pay close attention to this. I'll be talking about it today in my live broadcast. Rabbi Stephen Ben Nun will be my guest. We've got to talk about Russia. Did Russia kill al Baghdadi? What about the peace uh, peace agreement process has begun now? They announced it. It's it, it, what's going on with the Middle East, Israel, the Palestinians. What about North Korea? All of these subjects will be discussed. Look at biblical prophecy as it relates to these issues today. On the coming apocalypse, the I, my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com, 12 noon Eastern. Are you serious? It's getting very serious. Give your life to Jesus Christ, okay? Start walking in the peace. Start walking in the power. Start walking in the blessing and the love of God. Lay your head on your pillow at night and know that you're in the arms of Jesus and that, you know, everything's going to work out. He's coming. He is coming. And it's way sooner than you can ever imagine.